Hey, what are you watching? Oh, it's this great movie where this radioactive spider bites this guy and gives him superpowers, and then he, um... This is not that movie. Uh, come on, let's go play some ball. Catch. Oh, oh. Really? You've got eight legs. And no hands, brother. Sit down! Shut up. I told you this was a spider movie. Okay, but I'm telling you. Good morning, honey. What are you doing sitting on the couch instead of cleaning the garage like you promised? Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's getting late. If you don't get this done by this afternoon, you're gonna miss the ball game with the guys. Yeah, well, I started cleaning, and then my arm started hurting so bad that I had to stop. That's a good one. Is that the same pimple that's been bothering you? Come on, I'm eating here. Mm, you don't seem to have a fever, but I'm gonna make an appointment with Dr. Hyen just in case. It could be a skin infection. It's a tumor. So you want me to go to the doctor because of a pimple? It's not a tumor. I've heard a lot about a staph infection on the news lately. It's called MRSA. They're calling it a superbug. Now we're talking. I know you're tough, but this infection's so bad, it's even keeping some professional athletes out of practices and games. Look, it's not a staph infection or MRSA or whatever else you've heard about. It's probably just a spider bite. Hold on, buddy. That's funny. First it was a pimple, and now it's a spider bite. I'll show you a spider bite. It's already been a week and it hasn't gotten any better. I've even heard that a bite can hurt, but MRSA can kill. Bravo, bravo. So all this drama over a spider bite. You talking to me? You talking to me? Still, you need to go see Dr. Hine. If it's MRSA, it's not gonna get any better on its own. You could give it to me or the kids or even your teammates anyone you come in contact with. Ew. Look, as much as I'd like to spread MRSA to the umpire that called me out at home plate last week, it's not MRSA. Look, you know Johnny, right? Yeah. Okay, well Johnny's mom makes this lotion and you put it on bug bites and it takes care of everything. This is the same guy who told you pistachio ice cream was a vegetable because it's green. Uh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd come to your senses on your own, but because of your symptoms and what I've learned about MRSA, your doctor's appointments today at 2. Don't be late. Hey, I'm going for some more popcorn. You coming? Well, I'm not eating off this floor. Listen up, guys. Hurry up. Take a seat. All right. Before we head out for practice, we need to talk about something really important. Special teams? No, Mueller. We need to talk about our health. Specifically, MRSA or MRSA. It stands for Methicillin Resistant Staphylococcus Aureus. Staphylococcus? Like a staph infection? My mom got that once, from a hospital. Exactly. But MRSA is like a super staph infection. You can get one most anywhere. So we're going to talk about four things. One, identification. What does it look like? Two, risk of transmission and how it's transmitted from person to person. Three, treatment of MRSA. And four, how to prevent getting it. So treating MRSA is like offense and preventing it is like defense? That's right. So let's get right into identification. It can appear as a bump, boil, or pimple on the skin. It can be red and swollen, usually painful, and full of pus. It can be anywhere on the skin. Hey coach, Rick has pimples. Does that mean he has MRSA? It's not like that. Usually MRSA is a painful bump or boil that won't go away. We all clear what it looks and feels like? Yes, yes sir. sir! Okay, everyone raise your hand. Everyone with their hands up can get MRSA. All of you are at risk to get it. Now put your hands down. It can be spread by skin-to-skin -skin contact, sharing personal items, or contact with contaminated surfaces. Williams, give me some examples of skin-to-skin -skin contact. Uh, tackling someone? Yes, now give me an example off the field. Shaking hands with someone? Good job. So we shouldn't shake hands with people? No, but just be aware of it and wash your hands regularly and don't go touching cuts and scrapes after shaking hands with people. Douglas, give me an example of sharing personal items. Using someone else's towels or razors? Yes, don't share anything that contacts the skin. Towels, razors, clothing, soap, okay? Because MRSA can live on that stuff. Montoya, give me an example of contaminated surfaces. Oh, uh, uh, lockers, uh, benches, uh, shoulder pads, helmets? Yes. Now give me an example off the field. Toys at daycares or desks at offices? That's right. And cell phones? That too. Now let's get into treatment. 
What to do if you get it? First of all, MRSA won't heal on its own. So don't act all tough and think you can wait it out without seeing the doctor. You need to tell your parents or loved ones and get in for professional treatment. Do you all understand? Yes, sir. Good, because if you ignore it, it will get worse. If you mess around and don't get in to see the doc, the infection can spread into your blood and then get to your lungs and heart and that can kill you. Coach, I saw how they treat it on the internet. It's nasty. You squeeze it and pus shoots out all over the place. Oh. That is the absolute wrong thing to do, Williams. Hang on, I'm trying to think of a dumber thing. <laughs> no, that's the dumbest. Okay, your doc will take care of everything. He or she will drain it and give you antibiotics to fight it. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you again. What do we have here? Yeah, I'm not really sure. Looks like a staph infection, maybe in a MRSA. Really? Yeah. I thought it was a spider bite or like a pimple and then it just got really painful. Oh no, infections often start as a pimple or a small boil, but they grow and they can be very painful. They often become an abscess, they're full of pus. You have a pain there? Yeah. Yeah, it's, and that, that pain could potentially be very dangerous. So this is worse than it looks? Yeah, think of it as an iceberg. This is the tip of the iceberg, but underneath there is a lot of pus that is expanding, putting pressure on your tissues and potentially be very dangerous. Wow, I didn't know that. I'm glad you came so we can take care of it. After we clean it and drain it, we'll send it out for a sample to make sure that we know what it is and confirm the diagnosis. We'll give you some antibiotics and they'll give you a sheet of paper that has some information about what to watch for and what are the potential complications and the things you need to do to keep it clean. Yeah, it sounds great. I thought I could treat it myself, but I had no idea it was doing all that damage under the skin. Pretty glad I listened to my wife and came in to see you. I'm glad you did too. She's a wise woman to tell you that. She is. So let me go set up and I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, we only have one more thing to talk about, and that's prevention. How to keep from getting this infection. First, keep everything clean. Sanitize surfaces and clothes regularly. That means you, Barnes, wash that uniform once in a while. Also, wash your hands more. Or use antibacterial sanitizer on your way in or out of the locker room. We put dispensers up by all the doors. Also, don't share anything that comes in contact with the skin. Towels, soap, razors, gloves or helmets and such. And don't go touching everything out in public, like Marcus over there. Do you really need to have your arm in that locker? First of all, it could be carrying MRSA. And second, it makes you look lazy. Get out and give me a lap. <laughs> Any questions? No, no sir. sir. All right. Let's not get beat by MRSA. We can't afford to lose any of you for any of our games this season. What are you waiting for? MRSA talk is over! Get out there for practice! Move it! Hey. Hey, you're back already. Look, I'm... I'm sorry I was hard on you earlier. I was really worried. Is she still on that? Well, thanks for insisting that I go see Dr. Hyen. Apparently. Because it actually did turn out to be a staph infection, or MRSA, like you said. They went ahead and took care of it, and then they also gave me some medicine. Well, I'm relieved you took care of it and caught it in time. But don't think that's getting you out of cleaning the garage when your arm gets better. Or washing the car, cutting the lawn, or walking the dog. What's this? Oh, the doctor gave it to me to read. And did you? Well, yeah. Cody, why don't you read it out loud so we both know what it says. All right. It says to make sure I finish all the antibiotics, don't stop taking it just because the infection looks better. If I don't take all the medications, some of the staph or MRSA bacteria can survive and become stronger. Uh, staph MRSA infections can easily spread to others or to other parts of your skin. I told you. I told Going. you. I told you. 
It says to keep the wound covered with sterile dry bandages, uh, to wash my hands frequently, especially when changing the bandages. Let's see. To prevent spreading it to other family members, they want us to disinfect and clean areas in the house that other people often touch, like the kitchen and bathroom faucets, doorknobs. Uh, God, there's a bunch of stuff here. Whatever it takes. Um, well, they also want us to launder the towels and linens in hot water. Well, let's get going. Haha, <laughs> nice shot. I might as well, because I already missed the ball game. Well, it's better to miss a couple of games than an entire season. <coughs> hey, hey, hey! Oh, whoo! Well, did you learn anything? Bring an umbrella? I mean, did you learn anything about MRSA? Can I use my coach's voice? Yeah. MRSA is a bacterial infection that is highly contagious. If you have a skin problem that looks like a pimple, spider bite, or insect bite, and is very painful, you should visit your doctor right away. The infection will not get better on its own. If not treated promptly, the infection can spread to your blood, lungs, or heart. Treatment will most likely involve a minor procedure in your doctor's office and possibly oral antibiotics. Because MRSA spreads very easily, it is very important to keep cuts and scrapes clean and covered. Wash your hands frequently and avoid sharing personal items such as towels, razors, clothes, soap, etc. People need to be careful in locker rooms, schools, and other public places. For more information, visit Medline Plus online. Here. Is that the web address? Ah, very funny. Thank you. I'll be here all night. Not me. I'm out. Eesh.